So hello everyone and welcome to another Articulator video. In today's video we're going to create a cycle plot. And cycle plots are actually very useful for seasonal data. So things that happen in a specific uh, day of the month or in a specific month or you know quarter. So you can easily see the trends of the different periods. I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's get started. Okay, as always, charticulator.com, you go to launch, and then you have to have your data somewhere. I have already prepared, and I'm going to show you how it looks. So, so here is how the data looks like. I have the number of visitors to whatever. Then I have the average per week, because cycle plots normally have the average also. I have week number and day name, and then I have to sort day name. And then I have two axes. You'll see why while we create the charts, why we have two axes, the X axis. So this is what we have. We're going to put it in a chart calculator and uh, start working. So this is what we're going to do. The first thing that we're going to do is I'm going to drop a rectangle. And this is going to be the background that uh, for our seasonal periods. So I'm going to create, this is a rectangular, and then I'm going to have day name on the x-axis. And as you can see, it's putting the, the periods for us. So it has Friday, Monday. I actually have one. Let's change to that one. So it gets sorted. I wasn't able to sort uh, day names in Charticulator by itself. You can see here on the plot segment. Uh, there is a possibility to sort, but it won't sort correctly. It won't identify it as a day name and it won't sort. So I put a number in the front in order to be able to do it, right? So here we have the first part. Now, what we're going to do is to put another chart on top of this one. So we're going to put a glyph on top of a glyph. And for the first thing that we need to do is to define the plot area. It's going to be the exact same as the one behind. And here is where we're going to do the, the lines, the line charts. So I'm going to draw up a circle. You will see it there. Actually, I'm going to hide the one behind so you see what I'm doing and then we will bring it to the front. Then I'm going to have axis X. And this is to be able to plot week number and day on the same axis. Then I'm going to put the number of you know, the visitor count. And as you can see, it already has the, the shape of a cycle plot. And then we're going to obviously put the links. This is for our second glyph, so the plot segment two. And then the name, create the links. Beautiful. We are actually going to uh, put color on the links, which is going to be the date name. And then I'm going to color also the... Uh, uh, the dot, which is the symbol on glyph one. So I'm going to also drop in there and it looks quite gorgeous, right? Okay, so what I want to do for the segment two, obviously that type of axis is not going to work, so we need to format it a little. So what I did is I hide or I hid that one. So as you can see, it's not visible anymore. And if we go now and bring back plot one, and then make it, you know, the rectangles not so prominent, something like that. And then I'm going to change also the opacity because they don't superimpose like very good. You can see that it's looking quite nice now. Neat, huh? So now the next thing that we're going to do is normally a cycle plot, it has the, like, the x-axis has two levels. You have uh, week numbers in this case, and then the day name. Uh, I wasn't able to really figure out a good way to do it, but what I've done, and I think it works actually almost better, if you click on the circle, on, on the shape, what is it here? The symbol shape, you see it there. I'm going to drop a text. You see it there? And for that text, I'm actually going to bind it with the week number. 
And you see that a weak number gets plotted. I don't want to have any decimals, so instead of 1f, I have to have 0f. And then I'm going to put the color not so prominent, maybe like that. So. And the, the only thing that we have left is now the um, uh, the average, the average line. So for the average line, I actually created a new glyph. Go to here, glyph two. Again, you have to do the plot segment. The plot segment is going to be exactly identical. I'm going to hide the other one too, so I see actually what I'm doing. So, no, that one. So, I'm going to draw up again a circle. I'm going to put axis, axis one. Yes. And then I'm going to put average visitors in there. And as you can see, you get the straight line. We're going to do the links. This is block segment three, the name, create links. You see them there? And now when it comes to the symbol, we don't want to see it. We just want to have the line. And for the line two, we want to have a stronger color and maybe a little thicker. And then we're going to turn off the uh, axis again. We already have an axis, so we don't need that anymore. You are going to see that the, let me turn it on. So you see that there is different scales because he's taking the max and the mean. So unfortunately, I have to hard code this. Obviously, if you're going to get new data, you might get into trouble. So not perfect. Um, but if you don't, then you see, you see everything is out of sync. So we're going to do from zero to 110. And then on plot segment two, we're going to do exactly the same thing from zero to 110. And as you can see, then they start to line up, which is gorgeous. I'm going to turn on the link. Maybe go to prominent. Let's, 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 let's line two. So I think that's enough. And then we're going to bring the axis from from the first glyph. And then what we're going to do is just, again, those axes are way too prominent. We're going to, to tune it down a little bit. The slider, nicer gray for both the X axis and the Y axis. So here we go into there and then we turn it down a notch. And uh, I think I can see the dots. So maybe instead of hiding it, we can just make it... Oh no, it's probably because it, it sits behind the... Um... So that's a lot better, okay? So now we have our plot weight. What happened with my, what happened with my, this is not visible. So we just need to have one of them visible. And now we have completed our cycle plot. So with the exception of hard coding the X axis, the Y axis, I think it actually is pretty, pretty neat. So give it a go. Let me know what you think and let me know what type of chart would you like me to give it a go and chart it later. I will be super happy to do it. So I will see you again on the next chart later video. Until then, take care. Bye bye.